guys, here we are all together again in the same vehicle. <laughs> and if you notice back there, there's something following us. You haven't seen that in a while. Well, we've uh, we picked a wonderful weekend to get out. Something like that. The sun was shining. We were wearing short sleeves two days ago. And today, there's snow on the ground and it is still coming down. Which I guess we should be lucky because I think Colorado is calling for like yeah. three or four feet of snow in some places. So. Yeah, they were going to get slammed. Anyhow, we are going to head south. As far south in Utah as we can possibly get. We may even sneak in to Arizona. So, ride along with us in the same rig as we explore more of our new favorite state. We've made it to our pool off, and I think we would have made it a little bit sooner had something else not happened earlier. What happened? You tell me. <laughs> oh, well, there was just this uh, officer from, uh, you know, one of these fine counties in Utah who wanted to see the trailer up close, see the rig, say hi. <laughs> it was Give funny. me a, a little bit of a pat on the back for driving 75 and 60. <laughs> driving so fast towing the trailer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was impressed. He was impressed. He was impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so funny because all of a sudden the lights come on. I'm like, oh, babe, there's a cop behind you. I and, just thought, And okay, Kev starts slowing going? down. And then I was like, no, I think he's pulling you over. <laughs> <laughs> Turning 40 this year, and I've had one ticket my entire life. So, not too bad. Not, Not too, too shabby, but he didn't give me one, so. Yeah, he didn't. He was awesome. He was super nice. Yeah, he was really Thank cool. Thank you for just the warning. Yeah. Okay, let's go find our camp spot. Carefully and slowly. Yes. <laughs> at, at the speed limit. At the speed limit. With warmer temps and snow-free roads in southern Utah, we were attempting to make up some lost time and might have gotten a little carried away on the deserted roads. So, after a friendly reminder from Utah's finest to hold back the V8 power of our GX460, also known as Aspen, we turned off the highway and headed towards camp to meet our friends Val and Savannah and their two boys, Alex and Nico. While arriving at camp after dark is never our favorite thing in the world, sometimes it's worth it to wake up to fresh scenery in the morning sun. And this was one of those times. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Good. Yeah. Cold. <laughs> well, how's it feel to have the old turtle back back. Feels pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It's just so convenient. Yeah. So how cold is it this morning? Cold enough that when I poured the water to measure out the water for the coffee, it turned ice in there. Well, the coffee grounds are in there now, but. Yeah. This turned out to be a pretty spot. Yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot to introduce another member of the Explorer family. Meet Apollo, fearless adventure pup and curator of cuteness. Well, good morning. Bit of a late night last night after a touch and go drive in the ice and snow, but gotta say, I did pretty good. You know, there's always that concern about mud trains and those KM3s, surprisingly, did good. Having the brake controller made a big difference. I really am enjoying the design that Red Art came up with. We met up with our friends Val and Savannah, and their two boys, so Caroline and those guys are exploring some of these little baby cliffs. Sarah's over here getting her coffee piping hot, and there's rumors of link sausage. So I'm headed back to camp because I'm starving, but it is, it is cold. Yes, I know you Canadians, it's much colder up there, but it's all relative, right? Oh, uh -huh. 
So all the ladies on Instagram want to know where you get those from. Incas. Incas? Uh-huh. I-N-K-K-A-S. Cool. I love them. Not sponsored. No. I Hashtag. wish. <laughs> How's it feel? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm a little sleepy. I didn't sleep super great, but it doesn't matter. It's a nice day. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful place, too. It is beautiful. I love the bald face calves. They're just so cute. Go find Mama. Keep going. <laughs> She's coming back run, to you. <laughs> Take me with you. <laughs> I know. I look like Mama, huh? He's still going. Wait for me. Mm, slippery. With snow falling in central and northern Utah, we had come here for warmer temps and more favorable trail conditions. However, there were still a few wet spots along our route that had turned the surface into a thin layer of grease-like mud. Come on, baby, you can do it. Oh no! What is it? Alright, just hold your brake. Hold your brake. Oh no. Steer with your... I got it. Back it up so that you guys can uh, attempt to back up and maybe we can get some more running speed. It's going to take off with you, so just hold up a second. Can you completely stop? No, this is as good as it's going to get. Okay. Don't move. Uh, center locker. Just start that. Start there first. Right, we had grown accustomed to not towing over the past year, and this was a good reminder that while an off-road trailer brings a lot of convenience, it also comes with its trade-offs in the mobility department. Backing a trailer down a greasy slope is no easy task when the whole combination has a mind of its own. Thankfully, Sarah's trailer skills were still on point after the brief hiatus, and we were able to reset for another attempt. Our upgrade to mud terrains had paid off big time over the past year, but in these situations, it doesn't matter how aggressive your tread may be, some mud just can't be beat with the tire selection alone. So, you have to resort to other measures. And we had one more trick up our sleeve. Or, under the hood, actually. Hi-ho, Aspen. As they say, there's simply no replacement for displacement. show you guys what we're working with here if you notice this is dry just about an inch under the surface right here this this is grease there's certain places in the desert we've talked about it in New Mexico this stuff right here is like driving on grease but you can see all it takes is just a half inch of that slick stuff to make it difficult Just gorgeous. As you may know by now, Utah is kind of our favorite place <laughs> to explore. It's just something new around every corner. 
Now, on the subject of tread lightly, ideally, you would want to try and plan your vacations into areas that are going to have favorable weather, trails that aren't degraded by a lot of rain. And that can be tough because, you know, you plan months, sometimes years ahead. But what I would suggest is attempt to plan your adventure for a region and then pick the best weather for that region so that you're not impacting the trails and you're enjoying yourself a lot more. A couple of these places are a little more muddy than what I prefer, but we came to the driest place in Utah right now. Like I said, there's only been a couple short little sections that were super sloppy. The rest of it's doing okay, so we're not really tearing anything up. But it's just something to keep in mind. If you can control where you're gonna wheel in inclement weather, try and pick durable trails or the best weather of the region. How's it there? <laughs> where are you going? On an excursion. <laughs> you you look like you're ready for the North Pole. <laughs> the breeze is chilly. And, and what's the temperature right now? It's probably like 44 degrees. I think it's probably more like 60. No, it is not 60 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know you're prepared. I am. You look ready. I am ready. Lead the way. Come hell or high water. That's all right. Maybe not high water. I'm in leather boots. <laughs> <laughs> said Utah right Took some muscles. I saw that. <laughs> that was not easy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So far, there's nothing that I don't think you guys can do. I can't do, so you'll be fine. <laughs> She's just go. That's ball bearings. Oh, that's tricky. What do you mean ball bearings? The rocks are round, and so there's no friction for me to use.
that. What's well, interesting, the rock directly to the right of you guys has those same zigzag formations that you can kind of see in Zion. Yeah, that's just awesome. <laughs> That's what they look like, huh? Is that a Harry Potter reference? Yes. Okay. What is falling on the hood? <laughs> I don't know if it's hail or snow. It seems pretty soft, but yeah. what's the temperature? It's 50 degrees. That's weird. Yeah, super weird. That's crazy. After a long day of exploring, it was time to make camp, and this time, well before dark. Finding an existing dispersed campsite can be difficult when you're far from the more heavily trafficked trails and areas. And while we could legally camp anywhere alongside the trail here, we do our best to find established spots when possible. But after several miles of searching with no luck, we opted to use the next best thing, a dry wash where our tracks will be gone with the next big rain. Just remember to keep the forecast in mind when you use these, as a heavy downpour, even miles away, can turn them into a raging river. With a strange white slushy substance falling from the sky, even though the temps were in the 50s, it was the perfect time to try out our new 230-180R awning. We had grown tired of the old awning brackets on the side of the turtleback due to their cumbersome nature to set up, so in our last visit to Phoenix, we asked them to help us convert to this much easier format with a fixed awning height that focuses on protecting the kitchen area. After this test run, I'd say this configuration is a winner in our book. From Trader Joe. Oh boy. That's sexy as bacon in there. <laughs> it is. Mmm. -hmm. This is a new one for us. Yeah, I had it on a gross trip and I've been wanting to make it for you. What you guys having tonight? Steak, beans, and some veggies. Oh man, you've been killing me. I'm downwind of you. My food's not ready. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, what a monster. Even more beans. Woo! It's a local Arizona cattle farm. Nice. Are you so hungry? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. First bite, you made it. Oh, I was making this for you. Go for it. Okay. And some homemade pickled onions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That stuff. Oh, there. I feel like you just made it worse. <laughs> Yeah. 
Touch them on my face. Oh, I'll like okay. get the towel right there. Mm. That's a winner. That's good, huh? That's a winner. So easy, Dang, but so that's yummy. Good. And those onions. I wasn't expecting the little bite from the onions. All right, this one's mine now. Sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> Dang, that's good. It's just going everywhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now stick, it in. Uh -huh. stick it in more. Ooh, good that's job, burning man. good. Yeah. Good job. Come on, fire! Light a fluid. After a long day of exploring the unique and ever-changing landscape, we settled in around the campfire with our friends to tell stories and unwind before continuing our travels in the morning. We had already been mesmerized by this land and couldn't wait to see what tomorrow would bring. So, we will see you here again next week as we explore more of Utah's secrets. Lifestyle Orland is supported by viewers like you. If you like following our adventures, then please join us on patreon.com slash Overland. Thank you, painters, for all your support. Until next time, stay curious.